Hey, what up you guys? It's Sassy Assassin here, back with another Amberlynn Re related video. And before I begin, I just remind everyone that this video is under the Fair Use Act of 1976. It's not meant for children, it's not meant to bully or harass anyone, including Amberlynn Reed, since she is the subject of today's video. Keep in mind that I'm a big person and I'm entitled to have an opinion of another big person. Also, keep in mind that my criticisms about Amberlynn Reed in this case is not about her weight, it's about her conduct on her YouTube platform and other social media platforms, how she treats her audience, how she lies, manipulates, and gaslights her audience, and how she clickbaits and monetizes off her critical health issues. If I talk about things that I need, want, or I'm doing for my channel, I am not begging for money. I do accept donations, but I'm not asking for it. Like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns about this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform, please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. Thank you. Well, hello, and I am back with another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be reacting to and talking about our favorite dainty queen, Amberlynn Reed. So before I get into the nitty gritty, I just want to say that I am not using a webcam today by choice because I look like crap. My room looks a mess and that is because I've just been really busy outside today doing some gardening. It was really hot outside and then having to come into a house that has no air conditioning and is just ba basically tr being cooled down by having the windows open and some fans tr strategically placed around the house. It's just not fun. <laughs> Anyways, um, today's video I'm going to be reacting to I have a dietitian and therapist disastrous get ready with me and I'm also going to be reacting to a very short clip um, slash video of Amber and Becky being spotted in the wild at Myers. So this video that I, first I'm going to react to was uploaded by a Kate Winslet. Now I'm not sure if she is the actual person that um, made this video or maybe they found it and um, just, she said this person decided to post it. But um, <laughs> It's, this is very an interesting clip and I've seen it a couple times um, because in this clip that will be muted because there's copyrighted music but in this clip I you see Amber in a cart spilling over so much like the cart is like she's dwarfs the cart basically and you can obviously see that this her weight is not meant to be in in that cart that it's putting stress on the cart because you can see how slow the cart is as she's rolling out okay the car I believe the carts especially at Myers I think the, the the maximum weight is 450 pounds so um, I have been in carts at Myers Walmart where it's obvious that somebody of a really big size has been has used those carts because they can be there are times where like they're they're slow like um even sometimes like the basket is is really out of place whatever that can be done by many different things but um the way I you know it was described to me when I talked to somebody at Meyer who work there um, when the cart is slow like that one it's probably needs maintenance and it's a little bit old whatever and two if you know somebody of you know a massive weight is put onto those carts for an extended you know for multiple you know extended period of times multiple times um, it can really fuck up the cart like in every time I have to use one of those carts it's always slow the battery rounds out pretty fast and, to be, and, and that can ha I I believe that can happen I guess depending on how big the person it can happen by somebody using it like of, of a certain size once okay you know what I mean like it's just it's not I think it's irresponsible 
it, of somebody to of of a, you know if you're, they're bigger than what the cart can take to be using those carts because more likely than not the, if those carts break down they won't be replaced you know depends on the company and even where where it is like if it's in a lower income area they're more likely than not not to replace it but if it's in a higher income area they will I mean but it's like at that point if if it, you know if somebody of amber size and bigger needs to use a mobile transportation cart they need to get a, find a way to get their own um, get one that is made to take somebody of their size and this is me not discriminating I totally understand that you know Amber and a lot of people that size struggle with walking around and stuff like that and I'm not expecting them to it's just that you know they need to be responsible and realize that you know they're not the only ones that need those carts you know and that they need to understand that you know those things aren't expendable you know they're not like they they, they can only take so much so that's just my opinion but I know there's some that's not going to agree with me. I talked about this in the past. I, it's, it's a pet peeve of mine, but you know, I because I've you know had to use a, carts a lot. You know, I've been in a situation where I've used one of those carts that have been used by somebody who's really big. It's just uh, so annoying because it takes you longer to shop, and it's just like the battery goes down faster. Like um, the basket is like totally. Like, it's just it's. It's like, how do I say it? Like, it's like, not at the right angle. Like, it's like, kind of been turned sideways because of whatever the person's weight must have like, you know, they must have been, they must have moved, been able to move it with their weight to move it sideways. It's just a nasty situation. But, but then again, anything, you know, could do that, right? But more likely than not, it's somebody who is too big for those carts and if I were to ever get to that si a size like that I would get my own to be respond you know as a responsible person but th I, I plan to never let that happen <laughs> never 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 like no way um, and I know this is gonna be asked like like well and said like well maybe you know you gotta walk around like you're overweight whatever and you know, you're not so big where you can't walk. Well, I try to walk as much as I can in the store, but if I need to take a break and use the cart, I will. But then if I have to move the cart, I definitely have to sit in it. But, like, when I'm in the aisles and stuff like that, I'm I'm up and I'm going up and down the aisle getting, you know, getting what I need and stuff like that. So, just letting you guys know. I just, you know, need a little bo bit of both. Like, and if I, you know, I, I sometimes bring a cane if I have to because sometimes I will, you know, if, because, you know, I work out so much, okay, and I can pull a muscle really bad and, you know, sometimes I can't, especially in my legs, like my, sometimes I just, I have a tendency to pull muscles more in my legs and I have to use a, you know, a cane, you know, sometimes, but more often than not, I do use, uh, I, I walk around with nothing and then in the, in, in the store and then when I need to, I will sit down and then if I have to use my, uh, my walker f for a place that doesn't have carts, then I will. And that also has a little seat. So, um, but I try to walk as much as I can. And I'm only saying this because I know it's going to be, I know it's going to be mentioned, whatever. So anyways, um, this is muted, uh, because it has copyrighted music so I have it slowed down so you guys can see it because it's very better because it's very fast so I don't know when this was filmed I don't know who filmed this I just I ha so happened to you know I think it was Life of the Free Spirit who mentioned this in one of her videos and I happened to find the original person who uploaded it and I thought this would be interesting to um, react to so here we go
Damn, they followed her out. Them out. See how slow the card is, you guys? See how slow? Let's go back to that just for a minute. Let me, get, let me put a... Well, hold on. I'll, I'll replay it at, at normal speed and then you can see. Sorry. <laughs> I realize that I have it so down. Okay, so I'm, let's do... I'm gonna... I'm going to bring it back up to normal speed. And then you can see even by normal speed how slow the card is. See how slow the card is? You guys? See how slow that card was? You can always tell. Damn it. See how slow it is? I have this at normal speed. Okay, so, you know, if I was in that situation and I saw them, you know, I wouldn't have filmed them. I wouldn't have followed them. Because despite my strong dislike for Amber, she's a human being and she deserves her privacy. Okay. And I think um, bringing more attention to her is not a good thing. She thrives on it. So, um, I just think, I just think it's rude. You know what I mean? Even, even though I find it interesting to watch this, this video, I just, the idea of it is, I find it, this, it was very rude of the person to actually do it. I'm not judging them. Okay. Like you do you whatever, but like, you know, just consider that, you know, this, these people deserve their privacy. They deserve to, you know, to be able to go out and shop and not be harassed. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not saying, you know, I'm not, Amber's not a celebrity, but it's just like, you know, she is a well-known personality on YouTube. It's just kind of, it's just kind of weird to me, but interesting at the same time. But anyways, uh, enough of that. Let's get into the actual, her actual video. Okay, so I'm gonna speed it up. Okay. I have this on 1.25, so here we go. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. But if you want, can we try you guys? Try you guys. Oh yeah. Okay, I promise this is not a makeup channel, but I just have so much fun doing my makeup, talking to you guys about serious topics in my life. So this Hey, I'm not hating awesome. on the makeup. Weight stuff and some updates with that while just showing you my makeup process, I guess. So it has gotten to the point where people are like, you look so sick whenever I'm not wearing makeup. Y'all, I'm over 500 pounds. Uh, recently, you know, undergone some traumatic health things so you know what i'm not gonna look healthy it's just i'm that's not where i'm at right now but we are going to dude it's been almost a year since you've ha you've gone through the hysterectomy and stuff like that like girl you should look a lot better now you should be you know losing weight you know so you can fit in the machines that will determine whether you still have this alleged cancer like I can't, you know? It's just so ridiculous to me that she hasn't really made any major changes because of what she's gone through. She's still playing the game, pussyfooting around, and wasting time as far as I'm concerned. Her work towards that. So first things first, I'm going to spray some Bear With Me Prime Set Refresh spray from NYX just to get it all ready to go. And I was talking while spraying and kind of went in my mouth. Oh, hello. How are you guys doing? Um, you know, despite my strong dislike of her, like she has her moments where I'm just like, you know, she's sort of got a, a, a slight quirky-ish personality in a way, but her quirky, oh, it's not personality, but quirky moments. I'm not hating the shirt, though. I wouldn't wear it, though. Jeez, how am I doing? I don't know if I have an answer for that. Let's just say 
I could be doing better. I could be doing worse. Um, I don't know, like, if I should, like, share this. Certain things I should share and certain things I shouldn't. Okay, next I'm adding the Dewy Smooth Normal to Dry um, Fit Me Foundation, which is <laughs> the best I've ever seen in my actual life. So, yeah, it's pretty good. I had my hysterectomy. Um, I was put on a medicine called estradiol, and it is a estrogen, obviously. And I was taking it just so I wasn't going through like hardcore menopause symptoms. Oh god, and all. yeah. Um, not a little bit more. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna say this. Okay, and um. This is nothing, nothing to do with her, the estrogen stuff. Um, I learned from a makeup artist, because I used to do the very same thing in putting the foundation on the brush. I learned it's actually better to dot it on first, rather than um, putting it directly on the brush. Because you, you wet the brush and it, and it only just goes on the surface of your skin rather than you know, really getting in there and giving you that flawless sort of, that flawless look. I learned it from a makeup artist who goes by the name of Wayne Goss. Um, he's on YouTube and he's been on for a makeup YouTuber for like a long time. And I actually recently watched a video of his, um, just putting on foundation and, um, I was like, wow, like this is really, you know, it's so much better. Like, and I actually tried the technique whatever and it's so much better like seriously i also use a beauty blender as well to like just after you know putting it on my face like i just use a, i just put it actually further like makes it go sink into your skin and just give you the more of that flaw, flawless base whatever as for the foundation you know i've i used to use fit me but like i actually found that i really like amani luminous soak a lot better and um more of, more more often than that i more focus on my my fa my skincare than i do makeup but i'm very um anal when it comes to the brands of makeup that i use and stuff like that because i have to be very careful because i have very sensitive skin especially sensitive eyes and um luminous soak has been the only one that's been you know to really work with my skin really well and it's been the only foundation where it's like literally perfectly matched my skin tone. Like you, when I wear it, people can't even tell that I have makeup on. Like, and my skin looks so flawless and smooth. It's just amazing to me. But anyways, I'm sorry. I just wanted to say that because it's just like, that's why her makeup looks so cakey because she's wetting her brush too much. That's I'm not nitpicking. I just wanted to say that because... I just want to put that tip out there, so. Like, from what I understood, that, you know, is the reason why I was taking it. I look crazy. I've been taking it for, what, since July of last year, so it's been, it's been a um, hot minute, you know? So, I would take one milligram a day, once a day, and whenever my prescription would run low, I'd call my oncologist and get sent a new one in and I don't really know what happened a few weeks ago long story short I haven't been on estrogen for I think it's been about two weeks now and I'm not gonna lie I feel fine um if anything I'd rather not be on estrogen because I know um high levels of estrogen could make cancer come back etc 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 so yeah there's an update i am no longer on estrogen i'm going to call my oncologist wait a minute call. you're choosing that you can't choose that i feel like she's she's this is what gets me about amber she 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 thinks that she knows more about her about health and what you know about medical care than doctors do like girl you can't just choose to take be taken off of medication you got to consult your do your doctor oh my god your oncologist your doctor talk to them on the phone because i feel like i want to explain that i'm good i don't want to take it no more that's not your choice 
You can't just make that decision. I, I literally can't. Oh my god. As long as it's okay, like health wise, like I'm, I'm fine. Like I'm fine. Next, we're gonna use concealer, Marc Jacobs, which I love. Best concealer I've ever used. I put it in those four spots. That's just how I do it. But that's one update for you guys. Now another one. It doesn't blend properly either. Be getting a therapist. <laughs> I'm nervous. Wait, I thought she was um, already seeing a therapist. I still haven't quite looked around and found one yet. My ultimate goal, though, is to find one that understands, like, eating disorders and things like that. Because I feel like it's important to me what? that we're, like, on the same wavelength. And what happened to the dietician and the weight loss doctor and the therapist that came with that? And, and the dietitian? I am so confused. Like... So is she no longer seeing the, the dietitian, therapist, and the weight loss doctor that was recommended by your oncologist? Because don't they, like, refer you? Wasn't, the on wasn't that program also working with the, like, cancer program? So this is what makes me, what makes me question whether she even had cancer in the first place. Because I... What the fuck? I am so confused. I am so confused. It, it, this is because she is mad. She's not going to the dietitian anymore because, and the weight loss doctor, because I tell her, well, before you can have weight loss surgery, you need to, like, really get, you know, you need to see a therapist to. work on your mental your mental health issues that have led you to this eating disorder and food addiction but you no know, Amberlynn Reed can't do that you know she's got to have the weight loss surgery she's got to have it her way well girl I'm going to I'm going to you know level with you right now it ain't going to you're not going to be in control of this this plan you know the, you know you're, the no doctor is going to give you weight loss surgery as you are right now mentally and physically like seriously you are in no shape to have weight loss surgery. I mean, you look like shit. Like, you you don't look healthy whatsoever. You don't look like you're eating healthy or what. I mean, I, I know. I don't have any room to talk. But, you know, um, I haven't, let's just say, my diet isn't the greatest. But, um, just, it, what gets me is that she's had, allegedly had cancer she needs to lose a certain amount a certain amount of weight so she can fit into the machines and she's done been nothing but gain so she won't be able to use certain machines in order to tell whether she has cancer or not yes she could probably um go to an animal clinic okay which i don't understand why that hasn't happened okay or maybe she's refusing to do so but um it's like I, I, don't, I have no words. I have, I, have, I have no words. You know, there's no going into it with some, like, weird vibes. I get really weird vibes when I try to, because I think it was, like, two years ago I got a therapist, and I tried to talk about, like, my been beating and stuff, and she didn't know much about it, and that was a weird vibe for me. So I want someone who understands that. And I'm trying to decide, do I want to do, like, telehealth where it's through video or do I want to go in person? That is something I'm still trying to figure out because, you know, with what's going on, I don't like leaving the house that much. I only leave the house like when I absolutely have to. Or really when you want to go um, Meyer. So, oh, you, so you leave the house when you absolutely have to, which means translates to you going shopping. That's all she ever does is go out and shopping. She doesn't go out and do any kind of physical activity, like, you know, go walk the park, go walk her dog walk her dog and stuff like that you know she doesn't do anything that's what i'm saying she's making no effort to make any progress whatsoever 
she thinks that the doctors are just going to take magically take care of it. There's going to be a magic pill, going to be a magic plan or solution that's going to take care of it. No, girl, it takes effort. Yeah, the doctors can give you the tools to help you, but it takes effort. What happened to when she was doing that movement? You know, she would be um, counting her steps and stuff like that. Guess that went out the window, you know. That didn't bronzer, last long. Bronzer by Mix. Looks, wow, okay, in your face. But I you know what makes me sad, though? She, we can no longer, uh, 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 she can't go back and do the walking to the tree, tree you know, video anymore. <laughs> She's got to get her one exercise video of the year, you guys. Everything. I'm sorry. Kinda... Creates its own magic, if you will. But, yeah. Another uh, awesome news. Don't excited. excited. What? Share. Oh. Creates its own. So, oh. You know, with what's going on. I don't like leaving the house that much. I don't leave the house Sorry, I missed it. Um, so... Oh, I'm using matte bronzer, bronzer by NYX. It looks wow. Okay, in your face, but I blend everything because then it just kind of creates its own magic, if you will. But yeah, another uh, awesome news, which I'm excited to share. Um, I'm a little nervous about it because I know people will have a lot to say if I like go into depth and into detail. So. I'm just like not sure where to say about, it, but we're gonna figure it out together. Like there are some things I don't mind sharing online. Other things where I'm just like, eek. Maybe I shouldn't have shared that. You know. Now I'm gonna use Nars Blush in Orgasm X. I just want a little bit of like pink going on today. It's a nice blush though. Just like a teeny tiny bit. So I have a dietitian <laughs> oh boy oh wow um i okay. am nervous because oh my god there's a detox meal plan for week one and it's scary ultimately it's terrifying let's be real who is this dietitian is it medical or is it just some fad i mean is it a medical like you go is it a doctor doctor or is it just some fad another fad that she's trying whatever i'm kind of curious I've never heard of a dietitian that does a detox. But then again, I don't know. You know, I don't... I'm not professional, so whatever, but... Hey. Makeup is versatile, okay? We could do... You should use your... What? And it's scary. Ultimately, it's terrifying. Let's be real. I'm gonna add a little blush up here. Wait, what? I'm gonna see if you that again. Oh, my God. There's a detox meal plan for week one. And it's scary. Ultimately, it's terrifying. Let's be real. I'm gonna add a little blush up here. You guys are like, what are you doing? Okay. Makeup is versatile, okay? We could do all kinds of stuff. If I wanted to put mascara on my forehead, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go do my little blendy blendy. It just works for me. And what I am feeling in the moment. And I will say with this lighting, I'm looking mighty yellow. So yes, I just wanted to let people know I have a dietitian and am I going to be sharing like the detox plan and how I'm eating and stuff like that? I don't know. That's where I'm at. That would be very interesting. <laughs> because people have strong opinions and I completely understand that. Like this is the internet. Everyone has opinions. So yeah. And I'm very... Well... You can say that, Amber, but you're very into, you're, you, you want to control that opinion. That's the thing. And you can't. Um, but I'm very interested. I would very, very um, interested to see what the detox plan is. Who is this dietitian? Um, is this a plan that's been structured by her, her doctor and a, and a medical professional dietitian? Or is this just a fad? Like, seriously. Like... People can persuade me when it comes to like weight loss and stuff. So the, I just don't that's why. That. Next, some I can eyebrows. You know, I can understand mm -hmm. that if she feels like she's very that she's very easily easily swayed and she doesn't want to like she wants to try this and doesn't want to be like deterred, whatever. 
buy something else, then I, I honestly, I wouldn't share it then. Like, you, that might be a good idea just to keep it offline for a while. But when she, you know, come back when, when, you know, she's really, as I'm saying, she needs to actually leave YouTube and then do it and then come back with some progress, whatever, when she's in a better, better mental state. I mean, that, <sighs> so ridiculous that she's still trying and to do this so online. I'm going to go do my eyebrows and I'll be right back. Y'all, my face really do be out here right now looking cakey. Oh my God. Everyone wants a piece of cake till it's on your face. Am I right? Okay, I suck at doing my eyebrows. I'm over it. I'm done. I'm out. I've left the building over it. So I'm going to try using the ColourPop Cream Gel Liner. Ooh. And this one is in the color Insomniac. <laughs> Wow, that is a beautiful color and... Oh, don't do that because you'll break it off. Let's go for it. I'm a little nervous. We're... Oh, just wow. Nice and creamy. Okay. How does she get so close to shook, the lash A lot of you guys have been enjoying, like, watching me do my makeup. It's so weird. Yeah, it is because you're good at it. She'd be, she'd well, be you're good at eye... Whoa. You're semi... Then? Let's just say you're good at doing eyeliner. Um, It's pretty. Where to go from here... Wow, this is extreme. Very extreme. Should I do a little wing? A little pop, a little flare, a little moment? Mm, I might add a black liner. Barely see it on camera, but... I don't know about this, folks. I don't know. Hmm. Good go to experiment. Out? Or should we go all out? No, let's not go all out. <laughs> I was about to put some glitter and some... This isn't Halloween. This is not Halloween. Alright, we're about to use some black. Okay. Liquid eyeliner. This is Revolution Beauty. A lot of people ask what black eyeliner I use. What's my favorite? It might be this one. I love it so much. So I'm just gonna add the teeniest bit because I feel like it helps when you have like mascara on. It like all ties together. See the difference already? I know I look absolutely insane, but just go with it. No. No, I messed up. Look at what I did. Oh my god. Uh, I hate that. God, oh, she's thy neighbor. Don't judge me. Just because I'm bad at makeup. Don't judge me. Please. Oh, <laughs> don't feel bad. <laughs> I suck at it as well. I just got a handle and do my eyebrows. Finally. I don't know. Have y'all ever just gave up? Just gave up. Oh boy. Alright. <laughs> Let's just have a mascara wow. moment and see if we can figure this out. Where are you? There is a thing oh, called, no. you know, Q-tip and... Too Faced Mascara is mm, exactly where it's at, where it needs to be. Who loves it? It's the best. You know, the whole nine yards. Watch. I'm going to do one eye mascara and then one eye not and just look at the, the difference that mascara does. So back to the dietitian thing. she needs to use a I'm what i would do i would I, she needs to get a volumizing a volumizing like prime primer for her eyelashes and then use the mascara that's what i do and honestly it's like holy crap i i mean i don't need a lot because i have i have thick eyelashes yeah you guys and i don't need a lot but it really gives me the um illusion of that i'm wearing falsies that's where i'm at because I don't know. Every dietitian, nutritionist, doctor, they all ultimately want you to lose weight, but why is it always in a different way? Like that's the part that's the part where I'm just like, I, who's right? Who's wrong? You know, the thing is and then I get nervous because I'm like, okay, is this diet plan, you know, healthy? Uh, I'm so worried about my health, but yeah, I'll sit there and eat fast food. Like mentally ill, so. I mean, you know, when she says that, I mean, I can totally relate to that because I had fast food today. I'm thinking, you know, I, I said, "So, mom, it's fine. You know, go ahead and get it. You know, because she didn't want to cook, whatever." And I didn't, you know, I was, I didn't feel like cooking, you know, and you know, it'd been, we'd all been like just hauling ass outside, and then I worked out today as well. 
okay and I'm just like oh I, I, my legs felt dead because I did a lot of I did cardio today and I'm just like my arms and legs felt really dead and I'm like why the fuck did I get fast food but then you know I did I do try to like I, I really did you know can really you know made sure that I didn't I got a kitty sized meal because I was like I didn't want to like ha you know it's so much calories but you know it's just like I could have done better you know what I mean like I should have just asked her to go get like maybe a, a lean cuisine or something like that or I don't know I don't know I just it's just a part of the illness I mean it's true though it's just like you you know you should do it you know you should eat healthier but then it's just like especially if you're really tired and you're just worn out and you just it's so easy to make the you know the, the the easy decision rather than you know taking the hard road and eating you know doing the right thing you know what I mean because sometimes the easy way is not always the right way so I can totally relate to that girl we got a difference we have a difference my eyelashes are not long by no means but my makeup without a doubt looks so much better when I have why is she no longer using falsies for actually everyone so all right I lied we're gonna add some glitter yeah I think that both work together I regret it <laughs> let's make a bow experiment learn oh she's using her color pop one so this is color pop pressed glitter in the color okay my thing is whenever I try to use pressed glitter I, I don't know the right way to apply it so it won't like I feel like whenever I use it like at some point in the day like you can no longer see the you know the, the glitter the, the shade whatever and I'm just like what am I doing wrong so if there is there a, 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 a good way like a per to do to, to apply those kind of shadows because I'm like lost Oh, island hopping. I'm going to dab it a little bit. And I want to add it right there. Right oh, there. I could not do that. See, my other problem is I can't, that where she's dabbing it, I, my eyes water up in that area, so I have to be very, I can't put a lot of, you know, a lot of concealer there. I can't put a lot of product there because it's like, it'll be eaten away by the water that comes out of my eyes. And I, you know, I've tried allergy medication to help with it. I've tried eye drops and it just doesn't make a difference. There's some fallout. We're, you know, that's okay. Get a, a Q-tip. Ooh, this is chunky glitter. Unroll it. I love it so much. Oh my God. Wow. She's gorge. <gasps> Should have put it at... No, you're not oh, putting it. purchase was actually worth it. Oh my. Hey, girl. I'm gonna have your number. I'm gonna add some up here. Why not? I think she's experimenting. So I, think that I mean, you need a whole, like, having fun with it. Face, definitely. If you're gonna use this, do this first. It's really crumbly, though. Because the fallout is intense. All right. So we're gonna stick with the glitter theme and use my favorite highlighter the fenty beauty why does she put it in the corner of her eye that's really pretty love so we're gonna add some here we're just uh going all out today it's it's glitter time i'm gonna add some here so looks like it actually might be Halloween. <laughs> yeah so for lip we're gonna do color pop dreamsicle not one of her best looks. I'm like not going to mix that. lip stuff. So we're going to do... That's a pretty lip color. Layer. layer number two is LA Colors High Shine Shea Butter Lip Gloss in Baby Cakes. And we're going to plop that on there. Then we're going to plop one more thing. All May Color Care Lip Oil Stick in Raspberry Rush. I might be one of my favorites. Makeup is complete. Mm. So that is how it looks. No, no narcissist. I'm just showing you my completed look. I love pink makeup. I think it looks 
so cute. I feel like if I wore some fake eyelashes, it would make the look look better. But we're gonna stick to the short, lame eyelashes for today, cause yeah. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <sighs> you know, I, I'm really confused about what plan she's doing. I mean, she's obviously because she hasn't told us, but like, you know, I mean, she's been lying about seeing a therapist. I mean, she says for quite a while she's been seeing a therapist. Like, she says, oh, I see a therapist, you guys. Like, okay, then now you're saying you don't and, and you're going to be going to see a therapist. So did you ever see a therapist at all? Like, I, I'm really confused. I'm really confused. Like, how long have you, I mean, have you not been seeing a therapist? Are you even on, are you still seeing the psychiatrist or whatever? To get your medication? I'm totally confused. I mean, I'm really confused. Now she's, she's, she thinks that she doesn't need the estrogen anymore. It's like, girl, like, you are not the, you, you are not the doctor here, okay? You need to follow the advice of, you know, the doctors that you're seeing. They know more than you do. I mean, I'm not saying, like, you know, I understand, like, fall you know i'm a proud person like i follow my gut you know especially when it comes to medical issues and if i feel something like something isn't right then you know i will follow my gut you know what i mean but like at the same time i keep in mind that you know i'm not the, i'm not the medical professional here you know i don't know certain things but that's just me okay like <sighs> it's just this is just, just a really annoying situation like I genuinely want to know what this diet is like I'm really curious um and as for the detoxing thing like hell no I there's no way not with how she is now I really think the person she was seeing before the one that basically said you know the the weight loss doctor saying that you need before you can even focus on your weight loss really you know folk you know really hanker hanker down you need to focus on your mental issues but see amberlyn is a true narcissist and um i think that may be impossible for her to really f face herself you know what i mean so i don't i just don't see any i don't see any improvement and you know it's just so sad to say that because you would you really would think that after everything she's gone through that there would be some some form of improvement but there isn't and it's like you know girl like this has got to be end game for you the, you know this has got to be it you know because you're running out of choice you're running out of time like seriously but anyways um oh so uh just a quick little update on myself um I didn't do a full workout yesterday, actually technically it's Saturday now, but on Thursday, because, um, I got, well, I got sick at the, at the gym, okay, and no, like, no COVID stuff, but it was more stomach, um, I don't know what the hell caused it, but, like, I was, I got down with the, because there's, like, two type of hip abduction machines that, like, focus on two different parts of your your hips whatever and I was finished with the second one and I was ready to go and do the glute machine okay and um, I usually do those at the end of my, of my leg leg day work I'm gonna say my leg day workout but because there were so many people on the machines and other machines that I wanted to use at the other part of the gym, I decided I'm just going to walk down to where the hip abduction machines and the glute machine is. I'm just going to do that first. And um, I ended up just getting really sick. Um, just I was I, I, I swear to God I was, I was in that bathroom for like a half an hour. I just it, I don't know what what happened, but by the time I got out, it was like. I wouldn't have been able to finish my workout whatsoever like and I'm so mad because you know I had to cut it short and it just really sucks 
Um, I don't know if I've made, it was the heat because you know having no air conditioning. It's, I mean, I know there's some people that are able to live without it and just open their windows, whatever, and they use that. I'm not one of those people, okay? I need central air. Um, because I, I, I've just, just the way it is, you know? I'm just not, I don't, I just, I can't not have it, you know? And it just sucks that I, that we don't have it. And it's just, it. I, I don't know, like, I've just been fighting with my parents for days about this, you know, getting some, like, uh, something to baby us through, and we bought these crappy ass, and I was totally against it, and still am, these air coolers, okay, they, they cost like $20, you can get them at Kroger's and Walmart, they're very small, whatever, and they're shit, okay, they're a bunch of shit, honestly, you know what, I'm gonna find them, because I'm I'm mad because on. okay this is what I'm talking about then we bought some like four of these okay now and it ended up costing a hundred dollars. Now I don't on a now they this this makes the claim and this is what gets me, okay? This makes the claim to be able to cool down a room in five minutes. It's bullshit. It's this I have a fan, a cheap ass fan, okay, that I use at the gym in the summertime that can cool down faster than this thing. And what we have to do, there's a filter that comes with this, and then you have to put ice cubes on the top here, and there's three speeds. It's louder than hell, it's supposed to be quiet, but it's really loud. I mean, it's just so fucking loud. Trying to sleep, I, I mean, even with the earplugs in, it's just really loud. Um, it... It, it's supposed to go up to like if you have the highest speed I'm not sure how I mean depending on what speed you have it is depend depend how um, how you know how much how much energy it, you get you know from how much time you get with the water and the filter and stuff like that because you gotta you know pour water on the filter and then you gotta freeze it it's just so stupid like it okay and These things are supposed to be like very um Let's just say they're supposed to be How do I say this? They they're supposed to take up, you know, they're supposed they're supposed to be like emulate, you know, emulate the uh replicate the what an air conditioner would be like, but it's not as good. Okay. This thing, it just sucks. It's It really does suck. Now, I don't know what this one... I think this is like... This might be a better one, but it's like... Bitch, no one's gonna pay more money for this sh this type of shit. Like... My parent, You know, so my parents bought a couple thinking, Oh, you know, we'll just put one in one room and that'll co cover the whole room. And I kept on trying to tell them, No, it's not gonna do that, you know. And they still don't listen to me. They think, oh, just give it a chance, give it a chance. Because um, they, they don't want to spend money. But thing is, uh, so much money. But the thing is, though, this is, what, this is the kicker of the entire situation, is that they ended up spending 100 bucks on four units that don't, you know, that, and you're still not making the situation better. And so I'm like, okay, we need to get our hands on, like, a bigger air cooler, Okay. Especially for my my room gets really hot really fast because I have a um, a slide win a really big window a slide window like sliding window and um, I, we were gonna get like a wall see this is some what I'm talking about something like this okay. And depending on what the square feet is, is what you should get for your room. 
And um, that's why I told my parents, I'm like, we need to get something based on the square feet. Not, you know, like something like this. I mean, I like this one because it, it really... But it's just like... It's just been really frustrating because it's just like I can't enjoy... I, you know, I can't enjoy, you know, going outside. Like, go, I went outside, and then I came in, and it was, like, warmer in the house than it was outside. I'm thinking, tell my parents, I'm like, this is ridiculous. And, you know, I said, we need to go and get something better. And they just don't want to do it. They're just like, you know, well, you need to get the, give these things a chance. And, and this is, that's all they've been telling me for days. And I keep on telling them, it's not working. It's not working. It's not working. Every day. I said, and it's just been an uphill bot battle. I'm like, what? What do I need to tell you? Well, you know, and I, I mean, uh, what, uh, do I need to write, uh, make a diagram? Like, I just told them, I said, you know, I'm just fushed. You know, they just, ang they get angry with me because I'm, because they feel like I'm pushing like crazy. I'm like, yeah, because it's just, you know, I, we got to be careful. Or like, we've all had COVID, okay? And it's just like, our lung function is not where where it should be anymore all of us have been have had our lungs affected by covid and because i can feel it when i work out i'm thinking jesus it takes it, do, it doesn't take very much to get me winded you know especially when i'm walking as well like i have to stop more frequently because and sit down on my you know on the seat on my walker because i get winded so quickly you know but it's just like doesn't make a difference they say, well, you know, and, and, um, you know, I just, I wonder, like, if I were to get somebody to, like, get enough money from the Go from the GoFundMe that I made to pay for the, the, you know, the new heat pump that we need and stuff like that, would they even accept the money? That's my thing. But it's just, like, I've gotten so much advice, you know, and stuff like that, you know, there's... And there's options like senior options and stuff like that in Columbus. They won't do shit. Basically, they won't. They only work on the heating, but they won't work on like the air conditioning part. And I don't understand because like old people also need air conditioning. Like you can't. You know, they said, well, you can go to like the Salvation Army and get a bunch of fans, whatever. You know, fans don't do much. You know, they only circulate the air that's in there already. They're not gonna like cool it down. You know what I mean? Like. It's just, it's just so, it's just, my parents are like, well, the only thing that's going to work is getting central air. I'm like, how? How is that going to happen? They say, well, you know, insurance, whatever. I found out that my parents went for insurance, whatever, and for house insurance, and it's supposed to help, hopefully pay for, for the for the freaking, you know, to get it fixed. But the only problem is, is that we can't do anything until to call in, call it in until the 29th, which is the same day of because I of my surgery. Okay, and it's like God knows how long it's going to take for the guy to come out, and then on top of it, they're going to have to order the part itself. So it's like it's going to take another week or so. It's just like, did they not realize that by time it's going to be well, you know? well into like June whatever I mean, it's like they don't understand like we're gonna hit really warm weather by the time we get somebody out here and they just don't understand it like we need to have something to help us through and they just they won't listen to me and I'm just so sick of having to sit there and explain this to them and them not listen to me like it's just, oh, anyways, um, <sighs> I just want this to be over. I'm just sick and tired of waking up and just walking around the house and just being, feel like, I feel like I'm walking around in a swamp. You know what I mean? Like, oh, <sighs> any advice would be helpful. Like, seriously, I mean, at this point, um, I'm in what to do, like, is there, I mean, I've been trying to look for a way to get the thing done, replaced for free. And somebody tell me, you can get it replaced for free if they're a senior citizen or whatever. I'm thinking, where? Where where does this exist? Like, seriously. <sighs> it's just so frustrating. All right. Um, so, yeah, any advice? I, I really, ooh, what's this? 
Um, I would really appreciate it if anybody has an idea, like, what would be a good way to, um, deal with this situation. So. <sighs> Alright, I'm sorry, I got lost. I'm like, I'm looking at this and I'm like, reminding myself that I'm actually still filming a video. All right, so um, my uh, my vlog will be up on Sunday, and um, I did move my surgery to the 29th, but I'll, I'll tell you more about everything um, in my vlog. So, uh, but yeah, it's just so, so much is going on right now. It's just too much to, to say in this video, and I better end it now because I, this is already like a freaking full feature almost. Alright, so um, like, share, subscribe, comment below, hit the notification bell if you have any comments, questions, or concerns with this video or any of the videos I've made so far on this platform. Please feel free to leave a comment below or hit me up on any of my social media accounts. Hope you guys are happy, healthy, and safe. I want to thank you guys for all love and support and hello to all the new subscribers. Until next time, peace out my ninjas.